Welcome to the Adam Friedland Show. Okay. It's it a, is the week of Thursday, sorry, February my, uh, my 26th. Colleague, my colleague's being loud right now. I'm at work. Um, Adam is on the phone. All right, so is it like the turn signal? Or? With Volkswagen. What time? What time, he's asking. Stop, watch, start. And we're off. We're off for a big one. Um, Actually, you know what? Let me let me call you in like an hour and a this half. This is like uh, it's we're gonna do t- car talk. We got to yeah, transition. This, guy, this guy's like a real this guy that's making noise. He's a real jokester around the office. I, 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 Who are you on the phone right. with? The service department. I'll call you. Who are you on the phone with? Thanks a lot. Okay, appreciate. it. Yeah, yeah. If we send it to the body shop, I'm just not gonna have my car for another seven years. So that's ridiculous. All right, thanks, man. All right, bye. All right, see you. Bye. Who's now, this? Now my sister's calling. Who's this? That was a, that was Volt or uh, Volvo. Hi, Zoe. I'm doing the podcast. Oh my god. Wait, are you? Is everything okay? Yeah, fine. Okay, I'm gonna get that thing for from for her birthday. By the way, the one you sent. We're doing a thing right now. I'm actually on the podcast, and Nick's doing a thing where he's started the podcast while I'm like taking important phone calls. For my family and yeah i did that do you want to say hi to nick i definitely did that uh we'll before uh, yeah i was like oh zoe's gonna zoe call why to don't we hi. start doing the podcast zoe, she, wants to say hi. she can call me personally she doesn't have he said you can call him personally and he said you don't write you don't call he wants your attention all the time he's like it's kind of pathetic Bye. All right, enjoy it. I gotta go. Bye. Sorry, guys. You know, life. Welcome to the Adam Friedland Show podcast. I like your look right now. Yeah. Yeah, you look like very uh, like you're in a symphony orchestra. Oh. Yeah, I was like going for a like a Brookstone guy who hangs out at Brookstone pretending to work there. Is Brookstone still a company? No. No. Sharper image. Sharper image. Going to sharp. Going to sharper image and pretending. Uh, yeah, I buy this kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm actually. Uh, I'm at the Genius Bar here. I'm sorry. Do you have a hair dryer that's made out of lasers? Um, sorry to. The I'm looking for. I'm looking for. I'm, I'm looking for barbecue equipment that also tells you what time it is. That's that is. But I got one of those sensors for my dad for, and it just did not work for like the internal meat temperature. A meat temperature for. That's like an app. Yeah. Well, you mean like 20 years ago? No, like a, not not too long ago. Sharper Image in Brookstone, it was like... It literally just did not work. Those stores just existed for poor people to go into and be like, dude, if I was rich... But then no rich people are actually buying any of that shit. Yeah, yeah. They don't need an indoor hammock. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's aspirational. It's aspirational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, and also for kids at the mall to go in the massage chairs. Right, massage out. chairs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then everything in there was like a massage item. Yeah. See, Nick and I grew up in mall culture. We were kind of mall rats growing up. So I used to take a bitch on a date to a... They still have malls, dude. I was just in Columbus, they? and they got that big one there, yeah. The, the Columbus Mall? The Easton Town Center. Was it fun? I guess. I should have... Um, That's kind of the one thing I do consistently on the ro- on the road is go to the mall with yeah. Caleb. Yeah. Well, there's nothing else to do. There's nothing else to do. Yeah. Rosemont Zanies is like not in Chicago. It's none like, of the it's club. by the airport, none but there's the an outlet mall. Mm-hmm. And I bought Tim's. It was pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. I dead ass bought Tim's. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I will be at Charlie Goodnights in Raleigh, North Carolina. My, my return to Charlie Goodnights. I think it's just Goodnights. Um... I, I remember one, yeah, they changed it. It used to be Charlie Goodnights is the new venue now. Last uh-huh. year, that was, those were fun shows. That was like the first, that was my first weekend. I think I did Laugh Boston, and uh-huh. then that was just a bunch of drunk Boston guys. I'm Laugh Boston next weekend, guys, the 8th, I believe, and 9th. That was the first, well, I guess the first weekend I did was The Creek in the Cave, and I hadn't done stand-up in like four years. And then that, that was fun. Uh-huh. And then I had to do Laugh Boston, and then... That was no, you did uh, in Chicago. Well, that was just doing a 20-minute spot. I thought you went back after that. No, never mm, mind, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, this is what comics do. Like, uh, this is kind of the, com- the conversations we have, you know, behind the scenes. You know, it's, uh, it is bizarre, the state of the industry now. Uh, let's get a state of the industry address from the president. 
there's probably uh, oh you're mocking me no no you said say to the industry it was like uh, it was an attempt at a what riff. other words it was an attempt use? at what a other riff? words would you use to describe it was not condescending what other words oh the sta let's get a statement from the president no it's state of the end this is this is the one time or this something? is the one time in our 15 years of friendship that I've looked at, like more of a lesbian than you mm -hmm. and now you think you can Mm -hmm. Now you think you can fucking come to my window. Now you can do your misogyny of me when yeah. it's it's like I wasn't trying to be an asshole. Now you know how fucking that's not my style. Now you know of how tempting it is. To that's be not a, my style of comedy. You're I like, like you're like why are you mean to me and condescending? And it's because you look like that. <laughs> because you look like this all the time. When I put that beard on, you were like, I, it's it's ridiculous. It's I, all the things that made you make you annoying when you yeah. don't have the beard. When you had the fake beard on, you're like. Yeah, of course this guy's lazy. He's trying his best. He's, of course this guy's a bum. He's a good guy. He's just relaxing. I want to have a beer with him. Yeah. yeah, not even a beer. It's just like, leave him the fuck alone. Yeah, I, I put on a f fake yeah. beard and Nick said, you know, normally... It wasn't just me. I think Hunter said it also, like, because I, I brought it up. And then everyone was like, it, that's what it is. Yeah, but everyone, because cause everyone is cafeteria style around the old... No, dog. no, no, no. Everyone's no. like, good one, Nick. You get, you get the, get, go get him. They're not, it wasn't even a get him sort of thing. It yeah, was it's like, kind of an Archie style. No. It's a little bit of Archie Riverdale. You're in the cafeteria. No. You bitch that the no. Jew. You know what it actually probably was? It's not even like the look thing. It's because you had a fake beard on. You couldn't talk as much. I had to remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you had to shut up. I had to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, that's how that's how that's how it do be. But it really was It's funny. I it's like I had when I, I had to, I couldn't speak for like yeah. a fucking week. And it was like a nice week with my girlfriend. And mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, because I couldn't say anything that would be misinterpreted. Mm -hmm. You know what I wish is that uh, she couldn't speak. Right. Or my wife, you know. Oh you're yeah, I guess she does talk a lot. I guess your wife doesn't shut the fuck up. She's always saying shit, dude. I'm back. Anyway, um, Boston next weekend, following weekend, Detroit, the 15th or whatever, the, mm. the next weekend. Also, I want to say, uh, we had Dan Soder yeah, right, on the premium yeah. episode. And if you don't subscribe, go to patreon.com yeah, we uh, Dan, 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 Dan was supposed to come on for this regular episode, but because of like the timing and some other things that were going on this week... Um, we like, could, yeah, we could, but so we, couldn't, I do, we couldn't have him on the regular one, so I, we had him on the premium. So I'd like to mention that Dan is releasing his new special Please on YouTube, go check on it the out. road. Check it out. He's go one of the YouTube best. Go to YouTube at sign Dan Soder. Yeah, we love Dan. Why do I sound so old talking about this stuff? I was, I'm not. YouTube was new mm -hmm. when I was like a, a kid. Like I grew up with. Well, then grow up with. We YouTube. were the beta testers. Yeah, but it's not like I'm talk. I talk grapes. I talk grape about stomping? the. I talk about the internet now like an old person. I know. But I'll be like www. Http. Right. Why does it sound bad? Why is it the backslash? I don't sound like I'm in the Matrix. I feel like I used to sound like I was a part of the Matrix. You used to be the architect, ergo. No, I was like the sunglasses and yeah. fucking like welcome. Let's listen to Rob Zombie in the, in the club. Now you're the old lady. I was old. thinking about that the other day. That fucking the song Drag. Is he? What is he talking about? What is the song? Which one? Dragula. How's the Rob Zombie's like? Dimes and bitches and burns and I slam in the back of my Dragula. Is yeah. like you put on a dress and get fucked in your ass. Oh, Dragula. <laughs> yeah. I never realized it sounded so badass. I never listened. To no, words. I think it's about like it's it's supposed to it's be about, about uh, cross dressing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've I've joked before that all of his songs are about like it's a fucking car that's cool. I mean, so it's I think it's Dragula. Spooky, spooky scary. And Dragula is supposed to be a car. Yeah. And so is a, so is a super beast. I think that's also a, a car. I think it's a type of beast. It's always a car from hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, basically, I think. It's the two it's, big it's, songs. It's for babies. Um, Metallica's like that, too. Enter Sandman is just about uh, being having scary dreams. I don't think it's about, it's for babies. That kind of stuff isn't for babies. It's for people that are sincere and aren't like... Uh, you know, it's not uh, snobs, dickheads, Jews. Uh, yeah, you remember hipsters? The, hipsters, hipsters, is hipsters. The term. Remember in the West Memphis Three documentary where the mom's like, "I listen to this song, Nothing Else Matters, every day," mm -hmm. to like remind me of like that I miss my baby and he's locked up, and mm -hmm. it's like so emotional. Is there a problem with that you have? No, it was like a really beautiful moment in that. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
And it is a nice song, Nothing Else Matters. One of the first songs people learn on guitar. Nothing else matters. Mm -hmm. I like that song. But what's the thing that does matter in the song? Getting pussy? Getting pussy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just thought about getting pussy. I got happy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you do. You look like um, like a uh, musical genius falling on hard times. Oh, yeah? You look like, like a... Like one of those Jamie Foxx movies? Yeah. Which there like, was only one of, but it feels like there was a million. Uh -huh. It's like like violin radio. But didn't it didn't involve 9-11? I don't remember. There was I an aspect where he was like... Jamie Foxx lives in a shopping cart. Yeah, but 9-11 Liam did Neeson is like, the boy needs to play his violin. Is Liam Neeson his best friend? I don't that? remember, dude. It's like that is all one genre of like like, uh, like anti-racist. Actually, it's not even... Those movies are kind of racist because it's like there's never... I, don't, I haven't seen any of them, mm -hmm. but radio is like that. No one's racist to radio in the movie. Mm-hmm. But the movie's supposed to make you feel like, uh, see, we weren't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it makes us feel good. I guess, yeah, kind yeah. of, you know? Green Book is another, yeah. Yeah. That Green Book guy's son does something. The what? guy from Green Book. Only fans? No, he's like on The Sopranos or something. Really? Yeah, I'm trying I love that show, The Sopranos. Green Book movie. I love that show, The Sopranos. It's so good. You guys got to check it out. I also want to plug with Sopranos. If you have HBO Max. Starring Vigo Mor Mortensen. And One of the best names. Mahershali Ali. Marshall okay, Lala yeah, Ali. Don Shirley, an Italian-American. Yeah, Frank Tony Lip Vagelania. Tony Lip. Yeah, who's his son? Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, he does. He's on the, he's on the Sopranos. He plays Carmine. The guy that actually. Old actual, Carmine or little Carmine? Carmine, the old one. That's who wrote Green Book? That is the guy, the character from, in his real life, the actor who plays Carmine on The Sopranos yes. was the guy that drove that black guy around. Oh, wow. The movie's based on his real life. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Carmine is one of the funniest television characters of all time. Like the, all the malapropisms, how he like tries to sound smart and all the guys think he's like an intellectual, but uh -huh. like he's just using the wrong words constantly. I don't do that. I don't know, you pointed at me, so I pointed at Oh yeah, no, you do that. You do that all the time, but not like big words. It's always like, it's always jargon. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always like something having to do, like you're trying to demonstrate like... Um, like inside baseballs. Yeah, the, in the same way that people say inside baseball, mm -hmm. you do that same. I mean, it, w in the process like when, of... Like when Ian said uh, dystopian... Night you d I mean, you did it the other day. What we're in there. We have a new, a new person working the switcher now. Thank you. To, I don't know if we'll... We shouldn't disclose your personal information, so we yeah. won't say. But everybody, please welcome our... If you've been enjoying the switching the yes. last couple of episodes... And thank you... We haven't. To thank you to. We're not. We'll keep. We'll keep. We'll keep you insulated from these animals. To, but uh, to um, but yeah, you're yeah, totally welcome. Very ha very. And great then guy. Uh, you know, it's like you come in. We're we're all trying to figure what was out the, what did I just say? a more efficient process, and you just fucking come in, just diapered up, just diaper energy. What, what was my malapropism? What was you, my? You got you like, or you can set up hot keys. Yeah. Sincerely, you said or you. Or you can set up just fucking just for the camera switching. You set up one, two, and three as hotkeys. As hotkeys. I used it correctly. You just attribute a gayness to everything I said. No, but it's just it could not be well, less. It was very funny the other it day. It could not be less you relevant said every information. Time it was a, I was like, uh, it'd be like if people in communication with our editor. I'm not complaining right now. It's no. very funny you said this. I was like uh, in communication with our editor about the new episode that's coming. It should be out within the week. I promise, actually, this time. Um, <laughs> oh, dude. dude I, okay. So, and uh, Nick said that every time I try to update him, it sounded like I was gossiping. <laughs> <laughs> you do though. You got you. Like, no, you just attached. <laughs> you, no, you didn't because think that I was like, hey, he, we need the X, Y, and Z, or he's having a problem with this. You're, you no, you come like, to me. You I come heard. To me, you come to me. You're like, I think Bobby's having a mental breakdown. No, I said, I think. And so I immediately. I, think I don't even respond. This guy nuts. I don't even respond to him. I or I just take the phone out and I call Bobby on speakerphone. You go, no, no. What are you doing? Why? 
And then I say, hey, no, Bobby, I said so what's it wasn't going on? about the first scene. Though. Because it's just you relate. No, to, but because you, you kept you love talking drama. about the first scene. You I said it drama. wasn't about I the wasn't first talking scene. about it. I was done a week ago. I said, I, no, you said, so we must leave the first scene. And I said, it's not about the first scene. It's not about the first scene. I think we're just like, he's been working like. Uh, it's great. You just call. All you have to do is call. You come to me, you're, you're like, you're like, guess what? You just you think I you. sound that way. Well, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk like that. Guess what? Yeah. I don't talk like that. Mm. I think the only reason you're friends with Ian is because he's doing something scandalous 24-7. No. I think you have a parasitic relationship with Ian Fidance. No. I think it's the opposite of way. Huh? I think if I was some musical genius living on the streets, Ian wouldn't look twice at me. Mm -hmm. Why do they dress like this? Like this? Yeah, like music people. Like it's if like you're like in the symphony, you have to look like you just look stupid. They makes them look worse. They have to dress nice, I think. Yeah, but they're not dressed nice. They're a nice collared shirt. I know. They look like yeah, they look like a bum going to a wedding. Well, they're a bum after they have the mental breakdown. Mm. You know, Shine, Jeffrey Wright, right, Rush. That's another crazy music guy movie. Mm -hmm. Shine. You want to say? It? You want to say it again? Shine. Two or more times. Shine, Jeffrey Rush. Shine. Now it's funny. Shine. Yeah. There Shine. You go. There you go. I'm gonna start calling, uh, saying "foin" again about girls. Yeah. And noise. Yeah. Yeah. Noise needs to come back. Noise. Yeah. All right. Noise. Uh huh. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah, someone so. is someone's threatening your life. No, 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 no. no. Oh, okay. Come on, Nick. Nick, we gotta play the long con on this. Let okay. me run point. Okay. All right. Can I ask you a question? Right. Mm hmm. You you can't go all guns a blazing on in a situation like this. So this is this is the one thing I excel at. Okay, mm -hmm. I am an ordinary person, if not uh, unimpressive human being, when it comes to most things. But there's one thing that I excel at, and that is this type of scenario. Mm -hmm. Because you already see, they're already on the ropes. Mm -hmm. You know, and and what you do is you don't you don't bulldoze. Right. You don't, you're not a bull in a, in a china you, you shop. Bu you bug them out, dude. No, you persist. You, you, you bug, have to. Bug style. You have to. You're finding your crevices. It's not even a bug thing. It, it, what it is, is. It, the it bug is, bastard. No, it is an Anasazi. I guess, I mean, if a spider is a bug, I'll accept that. Anansi the spider? An Anansi. Yeah. Anansi? Anansi the spider. Anansi. Anansi. Yeah. Anansi. But Anansi the spider wasn't like he was uh, an African style spider. I know he was African, so he wasn't like. Was he like sneaky and stuff and backhanded? That's not what he would do. I. I don't. I don't know what the. I don't remember. I remember as a kid like having a problem with Anansi the spider because it's like. It's actually kind of fucked up that they teach white kids about Anansi, you know, because it's sort of everyone hates spiders. And then this one's like, he's African. And then you could be like, oh, well, this one's actually good. You know what I mean? Like, if, you you're like if you're predisposed to maybe being racist. And you would assert, assume a third grader is. Uh, yes. You think that it's I don't think it's a good idea to, to tell <laughs> kids, to go to a group of white kids and say, mm -hmm. I know you think spiders are pretty bad and scary, mm -hmm. but this one's from Africa. Mm -hmm. Go off. Yeah. yeah. And he's actually a pretty good guy. So you were in second grade and you were like, this beep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying being racist towards a Nazi. I'm saying that it would be like, well, this one's Was different. he a good guy? This I, is what spiders would be like if they still lived in Africa. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? It kind of comes off that way. I, a did, bit. I, I thought it was a, I thought, I thought that what they were teaching us was that um, fables come from Africa. I, obviously, I get it. You're not, you got to back me up here on this. I think it's true. I think he's obviously, a goddamn. I, I, I don't want a Nazi. I love not living Nazi. in my neighborhood. I loved a Nazi. It made me wish as a kid. I was like, I wish I could get what along. What did he with, do? He did good with stuff. real spiders like this, and they weren't just they but didn't just like, scare me. But the other spider from when you're a kid is giving messages to a pig. Charlotte Charlotte Webb. Yeah, yeah but it's a fucking bitch. Yeah, it's a bitch. what's that do for it's boys? Yeah. Yeah. It's a girl thing. Yeah. I'm not interested in girls. I'm not. Yeah. I don't care about a Play girl sports, spider, dude. dude. They did the same thing with James and the Giant Peach. In fact, that's half the reason why I didn't like spiders. It's because in my mind, they were French women trying to bite me while I'm asleep. <laughs> Just leave the fucking kid alone. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Let him have his big peach and go to New York. 
He made it. He did. He made it. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him. And his aunts get their comeuppance. He had bad aunts? Is that why he left? Mm hmm Well, today officially begins the March countdown. It's March Madness for Kung oh Fu Panda God. 4. Oh, you're, you're hyped on this one. I am. Friend of the show, Jack Black. I might, um, I might, uh, I might tr bring trying to smoke weed out of retirement to go see Kung Fu Panda 4. I tried it the other day again. Did you? Yeah. How was it? I thought it was great. My girlfriend said, shut, you're, so, shut, you're talking too much. Yeah, probably. I'd probably be bad at it. I'd probably do it like a 12-year-old. Like Our old pal you Michael Foodie had a theory on weed that you have, to do a, you have to do two months on, two months off, and when you go back on your peak riff, that the first week you're just getting Andre's Steakhouses. That's how you did Andre's Steakhouse. Yeah. You hit resin. <laughs> I did. I would, Amber would leave. You her. hit resin like a hobo. A yeah, Amber and would leave. Then you came her up with gold. And I had nothing to do in the morning, and I was like, fuck it, let me try it. Yeah. Let me see how it feels. Should we do weed? What's that? I mean, cannabis culture is like that could be a new audience that we attract. Kind of 420 guys. I think that m my theory is this. I think to have this show have any kind of. Because, like, look, we don't, we don't, we, don't, we want to move on from podcasting. We did podcasting for six years. Some high points that I think are very funny, very good. I had a lot to do with But it. things have to come to an end. And then somehow with this, it was like, oh, we'll do a talk show. We'll shoot stuff. But it's actually impossible. It's not impossible. Well, it's not impossible, but you can't we do it don't. every week. You can't do two talk show episodes a week. Uh, we could do one a month. We could do one a month, but we'd have to surveil. We would will do, I'll say this publicly, we will do one a month after this next episode. Okay. But then it's just going to be a monologue in the interview. We can't shoot. We can other. discuss this later. Okay. It's not possible to do a bunch of location shooting and get those. In yes, it's not possible to do. To have a Tarkovsky. You not, know. not even Tarkovsky. It's not possible to even do. Just to do something that isn't a sketch in this office where. You go, the show's failing, and I'm trying to make it good. So what do we have for the new sketch? Yeah, what's the, yeah it can't just be that. But what if it yeah. is? Mm -hmm. What if it, that we turn it, it's the same every single time, and it's kind of just like... I will kill, I'll kill you <laughs> myself. <laughs> if, it's that, if that continues, I'll kill so just both. Full disclosure to the audience, the introduction to the new episode has driven us to the point no of insanity. One no one cares anymore. No, no, they actually, no one they waved, will care at about this it. Point, they'll see no it and one, they'll like it. No one is like, wow, but I can't wait for the next episode. They no think we're liars. They, it's, people think it ended years people ago. People think we're, we're pathetic. And now they don't. The, a few people that They're have interest. They're on drugs. The few people that have interest, they just see a bunch of these, these weird podcasts. Yeah, yeah. And we somehow we've wound up, pod, we somehow wound up, we could have just continued doing the, doing the old show <laughs> with the same name, even that was what just I said. as bad as this, and it wouldn't have cost us close to half a million dollars now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the amount of money we've spent. And we accidentally spent seven thousand dollars a couple weeks ago, just on, on accident. Oh on yeah. The, oh yeah. We just, I, it was an accident. It was. It's just the oh, they're enough. Enough. Yeah. We, but hey, that I money love went, you, pal. That went through we that money. You. That look. If, if anything, that's the nice part is all the money has gone to our friends who need the money probably more than us because mm -hmm. they got kids. They're genius musicians. They live on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're black. All of them. What was I saying? Oh, we have to podcast at least for the time being. We, we while, we, while we stem the tide of the the, the slow bleed out of. No, don't worry. D don't, don't worry. I I got this. Okay. okay. All right. Nicholas, when you're hey, on the my, beach. My point and we're is. And we're walking point, side by side shh, on the shh, beach. Shh, shh, shh. My point is this. We have to figure out this is going to have to be a themed podcast. Years ago, 2015, whenever Comtown started, what was that? 2008? I hear it was good. Something like that. <laughs> Everyone at the time, the comedians would go, you have to have a podcast and it's got to have a theme. Mm -hmm. And I said, that sounds gay. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to have a theme. Well, who's mm -hmm. checking in on a theme? It's like, why don't we just sit down and say things? Because right. that seems to be what they all turn into anyways. Okay. It's people sitting down and saying So things. we need a theme now. No one's doing themes anymore. Queer Socialist WWE. I say we do a deep dive on subreddits, and each episode is about a specific subreddit. Honestly, that's, not, that's a great idea. I, that's what I mean. It's also, 
That's all. They block. I can't see Twitter well, anymore. We did the tiny. I can't see Twitter. We, you found the tiny penis one. I know. Just so do more hard. of that. But like, do I'm obsessed with the psychology of of individual. All right, let's subjects. go to one right now. I don't know. I'll wait until I find a new one, and then I'll prepare, and it'll be, and then that'll be my new passion in life. Yeah. yeah. I think we should make fun of one right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can find one. I wanted to talk about the other drama. But also, to Don't. today's episode is brought to you by a company called Factor. And I know what you're thinking. Factor? What the hell is this? Math class? Mm -hmm. Bill O'Reilly show? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, only, the only two plus two I'm trying to do mm -hmm. is a two-year-old plus... <laughs> no. <laughs> I know. That guy was in trouble with, uh, with the other sponsor, so I'm not uh -huh. going to say that. Uh, factor yeah, is yeah. our, yeah, is <laughs> <laughs> what? No, it's funny. I said you just did. You know. What? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Keep going. Factor. Yeah. Factor, factor is a sponsor. I'm actually excited about this one. They already sent us this stuff. Luckily, they sent some. It's a, what factor is, is, uh, what's the fucking, what do you call it? Like, oh, it's right here. Uh, Pre-prepared chef to crafted and dietitian approved meals. To li That's too wordy. It's fucking meal prep. They say it's one of these companies where they send you the food. It's already mm -hmm. made. You just throw it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. You pop them out in the microwave, and then it works with uh, you know whatever kind of calorie tracking. And you hit all your macros. And I'm th I'm 35 now. I have a woman's bone structure. When I was younger, I was able to lift weights and put on like uh, a level of muscle that could approximate a male physique, same, I'd say. Same, same. Uh, but now my joints are fucked up, which I feel is unfair. I don't think if you're tiny, you should ever have joint problems. Mm -hmm. It's like my lower back hurts all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, from doing what? You should be agile. Barely reaching the cookie jar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, don't, be, I don't understand. It could be taxing. I don't understand why my knees hurt. Yeah. I weigh nine pounds. Yeah, tall people should. I should right, exactly. Yeah. They deserve it. Yeah. Whenever they're like, oh, my back. I'm mm -hmm. like, good. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Fuck you and your back. Yeah. Go to the wheelchair. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be in a wheelchair. I know. It's fucking so if you're one annoying. of these tall, five foot ten guys. It's so fucking annoying, dude. <laughs> if you're one of these giant that five I have, eleven. That I have SI joint pain. What's SI sports? S sacroiliac joint. It's not even a joint. That sounds like a woman made up. Thing. Yeah, it's where your tail. That sounds like a be. Lena Dunham said she's got that. Yeah, it's where it's the it's literally your back walls is what it is. You hit your back walls? No, I didn't. You That's what I mean. You have penetrated. No one's the back even walls. no one has even blown out my back mm -hmm. yet it hurts. Mm -hmm. Um, the, so migrants, anyways, the migrants have penetrated it's, the back It's the very hard for me to get back into working out now because I'm like, for what? Well, for it has to be now for like balance and core. It, it has be, to be like oh, be for maintaining things as I get older. And it's like fashion muscles. The whole like ridiculous. idea of aging gracefully. And it's mm -hmm. like, oh, you work out to like, you know, maintain what you have and like, you know, to like uh, take care of your body. I'm like, no, I just want to just give me drugs. You know what I mean? Like a like Elysi uh, Elysium, like a rich person, and you're everything. You're healthy. Yeah, sort of. Like Neil Blum. I'm trying to be responsible Elysium. enough that like you know, I can maybe not end up like the goal. You want enough. You want to do enough money that you at least have a house that you're not going to get kicked out of. Mm -hmm. But then I like look one bedroom. Mm -hmm. I don't. I need one. I don't even need a fucking mattress. Once mm -hmm. I know the house is there, mm -hmm. and the government's not going to take it away from me. Mm -hmm. I will do heroin in that room. Mm -hmm. until and it'll I'm be yours. Anyways, let's start over. Today's episode is brought to you by a company <laughs> called Factor. And Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals. My point is this. Okay, go ahead. Is that getting back into, and I was very excited when this came through, mm -hmm. because the only way I could possibly get back into working out, I can't do the fucking just eating boiled chicken anymore. It's disgusting. I can't do it. Yeah. And I'm not going to learn how to cook. I refuse. It's nice to cook. Well. No, it's not. first of all, your girlfriend. I've been to your house. You're, you're like we're cooking, and then your girlfriend does everything, so rude. and you spill wine all over your apron. I actually spilled your Larry the, David I apron. I spilled the potatoes. You're in. like, look at the yeah. No, you, no, it was disgusting. I threw them. You up. invite us over for latkes, and then I you invited him over for Hanukkah to share my culture. And he spills the potatoes in into the, like the garbage disposal, and he goes, "It was just, it's fine. I'll wash them. I'll wash them." And then he like digs out. He digs out. He trash. digs out mashed potatoes from the sink no, trap. They, they were shredded potatoes. And then fucking tries to like serve that as a meal. 
He tries I didn't to. Do, um, it wasn't that nasty. It was that disgusting. <laughs> it was like the most heinous thing I've ever witnessed. Is fucking like sink trap mashed potatoes. Dis- I didn't. I okay. I didn't. But I didn't. The point is that, that those went in the trash. And then he's gonna be like, "Yeah, cooking is a lot of fun. You're terrible at it. It's all not bad at cooking. I don't know. Anytime I've tried to cook anything, it just it tastes like it tastes like I followed a recipe. It tastes like the individual ingredients. I can taste the amounts. I can taste the essay that was written. This is the other thing. I don't know what happened in this building, but we came into this that's place. That's next door. That's next door. But now I hear like you can hear people like you can hear a phone vibrating. Somebody else moved in upstairs. There's no way we can do, you can't do an interview in here anymore. Everything's going to pick up. I can hear this guy talking to his fucking mom on the phone. What's her vibe? What's her? Vibe? I don't know. I mean, I hear his side. He's of the such a bitch, dude. He has a mom. Anyways. Uh, Factor. Is Factor a, yeah. is a, it's, uh, you know, so it's meal delivery. And they send them to you. And, uh, and then I don't want to plug, I don't know, a plug a different product that has a similar name to theirs. It's not the same service, by the way. It's just, it's the, the meal tracking side of things. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you can just fucking scan them. It plugs them in and hits your macros for the day. And, you know, they it have different easy, options. Especially for busy people like Nick and myself. Or just people that don't, like my body's f- fucking terrible. And I just like. You're a handsome. You just, you, you should, like, it makes it easier. It's like, in shape, okay, right. look, I, I got it. Take the picture of the thing, mm-hmm. log it, try to hit what mm-hmm. I need for the day mm-hmm. according to an app. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, maybe get back into working out. It's just, I just want to, s- I just want to sit in the fucking sauna. So I think th- my bone, I think I maybe have my bones weigh a pound. You have my osteoporosis? Enti- I think my entire skeleton is. That is girl style to have, o- that's lady style. <laughs> yeah. Osteoporosis. I think I have girl. osteoporosis. I that's think like my, male breast cancer. My bones are shrinking. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm all cartilage at this point. Really? You're a jellyfish. I'm like a shark. A shark yeah. yeah. And I don't sleep. Yeah, shark. That's shark vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, you know, it's funny when you find those things on the beach and somebody's like, oh, that's the shark's purse. And you're like, they're gay? Who says that? You remember to find that on the beach? No one's ever said that to me. A shark's purse? A shark's purse, yeah. It's like the little, like, the thing. Who told it looks you like a purse. Who told you that? I don't know. Your boy? An adult. Your boy? I'm going to look it up Your right adult now. Boy? That, this is what I hate, man. It's like you just... You a shark's anything purse? Anything I say, I'm like... Oh, that's this not a normal This would be a fun riff. And they you're like, that's sand, not real. They have a sand dollar. That's not real. A sand dollar is No, that's no one's heard... Know sand actually, dollars. no one's heard that ever, Adam. I'm sorry for contradicting you. A shark's purse. What is it? It looks like a mask for COVID. What no, it? no. I'm not contradicting. <laughs> I am your biggest fan. Every time, dude. I'm your biggest fan. Hey, you know that thing. No. What? When? No. How about Sean? Sean. Well, let's do my style comedy. Noise. Sean. Noise. Noise. <laughs> dude, I'm going to bring back saying noise. Noise. Sean. Sean. They call them mermaids purses. Oh, nice. And it's an egg case. It's a shark egg case. Cat sharks. So you went to shark beaches. You went to like... No, Jersey, Jersey's, Jer- New Jersey beaches have these fucking things. Oh, I grew up doing West Coast beaches. Oh, okay. Uh, kind of locals only more stuff. I tell you, I love the Atlantic. I love the Atlantic Ocean. I, I like it too. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's It's great. dark. It's emo. It's sort of the Jack Skellington of oceans. Mm-hmm. Pacific's mean. The Pacific's like pissed off. It's just like a hot girl is being a cunt to people. Who, They're the like, Pacific? oh, you're you're going to the beach? No, the Pacific is a psycho. The Atlantic's you're going like, to the, the beach. Atlantic's just more depressed. Uh-huh. We gotta do. We gotta get through Saturday. Factor. Right? Factor is a meal delivery. Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals make eating better every day easy. Whether tomorrow takes sounds great. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. They'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, plus veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. I did wish, because they sent, they, we have some here. They're we, those bags, right? Well, it's in the, we have a fridge, but we don't have a microwave, so you'd have to eat them cold if you wanted to try one on the shelf. We could get a microwave. Uh, oh, fuck. What's up? Oh, I just got a really weird headache. I'm okay. 
You're right. Yeah, I don't know. Just I know, like a migraine. So the promo code. Anyways, uh, yeah, I don't want it. We can get a microwave, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. No, it's all right. You Does know when you just five? you don't know no, it's like gross. a flash it's headache. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like just stabbing it's pain. Another girl thing. Menopause. Yeah, I'm losing my bones. You're doing menopause being, style. My bo- bones are being. You're having hot flashes. What do you get? Rab- rhabdomibliosis? I'm not. You, you know so much about doctor shit, dude. I don't know anything. Um. Anyways, yeah, and these were nice too because I couldn't really eat. Uh, I don't know. I had the turkey chili. Well, my mouth was fucked up. The factor one. Factor turkey chili. Beautiful. Two minute meals. Fuel up fast with factors restaurant quality meals that are ready to eat, heat and eat wherever you are. Snacks, smoothies, and more. Just got a wide variety of. They, yeah, they got smoothies. They got uh, fucking snacks and stuff. Uh, sign up and save. They've done the math. It's less expensive than takeout, and every meal is dietitian approved. To be nutritious and delicious. It's a perfect solution if you're looking for fast upscale options done easily. Oh. Done easily. Upscale is nice. That's a good selling point. Flexible for your schedule. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing 6 to 18 meals per week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. There's no prep, no mess meals. They're 100% ready to heat and eat, so there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. So head to factormeals.com slash... T A F S. That's I don't. God, this. What's going on? There's no promo code in the copy. I'm and the promo code t- we're assuming is T A F S. T A F S at FactorMeals.com/slash T A F S. And what's the discount? Fifty percent off. What? Fifty percent off. That's a huge discount. Yeah. That's massive, guys. Yeah. So be, be uh, guys. Nick uh, has used the product. He's a fan of the product. Oh, he has some here. This is a personal endorsement. So go ahead, click in that URL, put in our promo code. Maybe we will get a microwave. Maybe we can do that after this. We, yeah. I put all this on because I thought I needed to for something that's not. We don't. That's not today. Yeah. My recital. (laughs) My dance recital. Yeah. Nick is a. It's kind of like when an adult goes and gets a white belt. Like Nick is. You're in a music school with just Mm -hmm. four-year-old Asian kids. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing Suzuki method. I'm doing school like school of rock, but instead of rock, it's orchestra. It's school. It's regular school. <laughs> you're just going to <laughs> elementary <laughs> school. <laughs> yeah, you've seen the movie School of Rock. Yeah. It's sort of like that, except it's just school. I think that's a good idea for a movie. Mm-hmm. Just like let's talk, okay. Here's my pitch. You have a guy like a Philip Seymour Hoffman style, uh, that, like that talented at acting, right? He has a tragedy in his life, right? Wife, three kids, they all die, right? He has a mental he break. he accidentally acts at them too hard and they fucking overdose on his acting. It, it, that, I mean, we'll, we'll figure that out, right? Mm-hmm. He, he has a, a mental break, wakes up in his childhood bedroom because he's moved back home, right? And then he just gets up. His mom still has it set up the same way from him growing up. He just grabs his backpack and he walks to elementary school. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, and then the whole town feels so bad for him that they don't have the heart to tell him that he's not an elementary schooler. It's kind of like Lars and the Real Girl, where they're like, uh, "Yeah, that's a real bitch, actually," because everyone's like, "That guy's such a loser. We can't tell him it's a, it's not a real bitch." Uh huh. I think this is a good movie. Mm-hmm. And you could play the Philip Seymour Hoffman style guy. I just want to go back to school. Yeah. It's called Back to School 3. Just let me go back to school! <laughs> Just like that? Yeah. Just and like, he thinks he's a little kid. Mm-hmm. I'm small. It's like, it's, it's, it's not Billy Madison because how it's... Does a, he, how does he do the, the, like, the breathe, the, the nose smiling? He was a great breathe actor. I'm nose, I'm, I'm nose. Him and Gandolfini were both the best two breathing, a, breathe actor guys. Yeah. Like when, uh, when uh, Tony would eat, <laughs> he'd eat, like, have fistful of gabagool. <laughs> so good. I gotta learn how to act somehow. Yeah. It is fun. If anyone is watching this and knows how to act, then... We should... This show would be fucking amazing if this podcast, we had just a mentally ill 70-year-old woman that's like, I have spent my life in the theater. Yeah. Teaching us Meisner. Just fucking just whatever the, whatever that yeah. nerve. Not the Parkinson's one, but like, you know, Parkinson's light that old people get. Um, where you just sh- kind of. The yips. Is that what that's called? I think it's if you're scared. Is that what that's called? The yips now? 
I don't know. Isn't that that's kind of like a World War Two? Like a, I don't know. What's Parkinson's like? Huh? Nothing. You know how like maybe they just have Parkinson's and they work. We should add. In my life, I've met old people that were shaking, and like I feel like Parkinson's is such a big deal. When you find out somebody that gets it, that I would see those old people shaking, and I'm like, well, if it was Parkinson's, they'd be like fucking freaking out about it. Maybe they just had Parkinson's and they were just uh, chill about it. They were chill about it. So yeah, they, my mom was pretty chill when she first had it. Well, she had other stuff going on too. Yeah, later on, she had yeah. Parkinson's for eight years before the brain cancer. Eight years? Yeah, like eight years. No, she was still, I remember she was doing when, yoga. She was, I remember when your mom was diagnosed. She was diagnosed right after I moved to New York, t- 2014. Yeah. So she then, had it, and then the, and she passed away in 2020. So, I guess six years. Yeah, but the diagnosis of the cancer was. Uh, two years prior to her passing. So that's what four years? What are you checking the facts on? Because you said eight years, and it doesn't so add it's up. Six, seven years. Seven no, years. four years. I just don't understand why you would lie about something so close uh, to you. She was diagnosed twenty thirteen and twenty fourteen, and she passed away twenty twenty. You're now, but no, you're. What you said is that I she said eight, and it's probably six had or seven. Eight Parkinson's for eight years so prior to the other. Listen, you're keeping me honest, and I appreciate it because, mm-hmm. like, I am a. I'm just, she's watching. I'm a clout guy. She's watching. She's always watching. And she's like, you're she's lying. She's my favorite lady. You're lying again right she's now. She's my favorite lady. I can see you lying. And everyone, everyone in heaven is laughing at her. For no, having no, not laughing her. at her, laughing at me. They're like, we want you to know, her. we want you to know you're in heaven, not because you were a good person, but because your son is such a piece of shit. Because your son is such a piece of shit. She's the best person I've ever met. Because your son... Son is such a a piece of shit. She would have loved you. uh, We don't. (laughs) She was really funny too. You earned it on that. The reason I called it funny, mom, is because she was the funniest person I ever met. Mm -hmm. Now it's kind of it seems like a very 2009 hipster name for a show. What funny moms? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it was. No, it's my LLC also. Yeah. Well, we got a new. We we started a new. Oh yeah. You guys would be pleased to know. That on uh, this is the kind of stuff that people really this want to is what they want to know. On the financial side of all this, no longer is this this project funneled through my LLC. Me and Adam are now officially business mm-hmm. partners. That uh, we're gonna die together. Fifty-fifty ownership of of everything. We can't quit each other. We got a stock split. We're crazy in love. I don't know. What does that even mean? What? What does that even mean? Crazy in love. You know what's crazy? I haven't thought about killing myself, I think, in like seven years now. No, that's not true. But it's been like maybe seven weeks. No, I honestly, I haven't. Truly, like you, no, that's not true. You, no, I haven't, dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. No, I've been angry or upset, but I don't, I haven't like, you know, when you're younger, you're like, It's maybe very I'm, nice that you don't say, I want to kill myself. All well, I don't. Time. I haven't. I literally haven't. And then it's like, maybe that's all happiness is. Just you know, not wanting to. Not wanting to kill yourself. I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah. That's really I think all that's it is. fair. People think it's like, what, being a Chinese guy on top of a mountain? No. Yeah, floating while you're meditating? That's, no. That's not even possible. Uh-uh. It's just not wanting to kill yourself. Yeah, it's not. That's all as good as it gets. That Chinese guy is a fucking liar. Bro. That guy's a loser. He's and then often loser. they kill themselves, dude. That's the I thing. Know. Like, I, like that's why I never understood the rage against the machine. The rage against the machine guy. They show you that, and they're like, "Wow, he did this." The U.S. soldier he did, did this. that this week for Palestine. I know, but yeah. he's a U.S. soldier. The rage against the mm-hmm. machine guy. It is, it is the rage against the machine guy burning himself to death over some Chinese bullshit. I thought it was um, the Vietnam War. What you know what I mean? The point is, <laughs> is that this guy doing that? It's like, okay, well, good for you, good for you, right? That you did that. But doesn't that mean Buddhism's bullshit? Yeah, yeah. Like if, it, if Buddhism worked, wouldn't you ha- wouldn't you just be able to be like, you know what? Let them do whatever their fucking whatever fucking thing that's happening. I thought Kesara. Maybe it is like a Metallica and nothing else matters kind of thing. Maybe mm. that's what Buddhism is, right? Isn't it that nothing matters? Kinda, yeah. I guess. I don't really know much about Buddhism. It seems like the whole thing is a cob. It seems like what Buddhism is mm-hmm. was a million years ago. There was a uh, prince, an Indian prince, yeah. who had everything you could ever want, but he started going bald, right? And he's like, fuck, that's embarrassing. And he's like, I'm going to shave my head. And he did it, and people were like, you know, he's like, he's like, how does it look, you know? And the people in his court were like, oh, yeah, it looks uh, awesome. 
And he's like, what, it looks fucking bad? And they're like, yeah, it looks bad. And he's like, you know what, just fucking, I, you know what, who cares about anything? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't need any of this fucking shit. Mm-hmm. In fact, that's a religion. So now yeah. I'm getting everybody. In fact, it makes me a better guy. That's all. I'm. I don't give a fuck about shit. Mm-hmm. We're all gonna be bald. Let's all shave our heads and wear pajamas. Mm-hmm. And now it's a new religion. So yeah. I'll, I'm actually. I don't fucking care, dude. And mm-hmm. then a bunch of Chinese people were like, "Oh that, yeah, that makes kinda, sense." Yeah. Yeah. Well, now I don't have to. You know, because it sucks being Chinese. So <laughs> I guess I'll just be bald. Yeah. Yeah. And now every country that does it. And now Richard Gere's doing it. He's just got a bunch of mice in his ass and he's fucking sitting <laughs> well, around his mansion yeah, being like, yeah, actually this, is, actually, this is my religion. Yeah. And he's just sitting there quietly and all you hear is like, <laughs> from the wheel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> from the wheel inside of his yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. He's got a yeah. whole fun, <laughs> he's got a whole amusement park for them. In his yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I. Those translucent tubes. Just imagine Richard Gere's, <laughs> his colonoscopy, it's just the tubes, and <laughs> fucking... He has to pay his assistant to clean out his Yeah, the pet go? Yeah. yeah. He's like, can you do me a favor? Can you pick up, uh, pick up some bedding? <laughs> <laughs> and when you come back, I'm going to be on the inversion board. <laughs> just go ahead and, I'm, I'm in a deep meditative trance. Go in there, just go ahead and insert that. Yeah, it's actually really spiritual that mm-hmm. I do this. This is my ass. Mm-hmm. It makes me a better guy than you. Mm-hmm. We haven't heard from that guy in a while, Richard Gere. Actually, he's in the, uh, I know, never mind. Well, he's in Israel? No, he's in a new movie that uh, Paul Trader's making. Oh. Yeah. The ass hamstaller? Mm-hmm. The man, the, the, the hamster fucker. Mm-hmm. By Paul Schrader. Yeah, and you think he's just a normal hamster fucker, but it turns out he's MAGA. Mm-hmm. And he's trying to escape his MAGA Oh, and it's, yeah, so it's relevant. So, so it's, it's relevant. A, yeah. It's a commentary on society. You know, oh, right? gotcha. Yeah. That's gotcha. what he always does. Gotcha. That's what the goat always does. Uh-huh. Um, the crowd work comedian. <laughs> he's it. making a bunch of money off TikTok, but the reality is he's got a bunch of gerbils in his ass. Yeah. And it's his secret. It's sort of about, uh, <laughs> I guess. We um, love him. Yeah, we do. We, He's a legend. Mm-hmm. We love it. We actually, we love him a lot. Uh-huh. That's all we'll say about that. Yes. Um, so Kate Middleton hasn't been seen in six months. You know that? Is that true? Yeah. She's, she's been murdered? I think she's like, yeah. Is she one, she was one of the bachelorettes? Um, for the England, for, for. William, mm-hmm. she's the white one. I finally watched an episode of The Bachelor it's last so night. It's so good. I don't, I it's mean, so I'm, and I'm not saying this to be I like, because I'm past the point in my life where I'm like, this sucks because it's, it's people like it, you know? But You're not trying to be a snob. I'm not trying to be a snob. But you didn't enjoy it. I've, and I say I've watched, I mean, when I say that, I mean, I sat down and watched it. Mm-hmm. I've seen The Bachelor casually throughout my life because mm-hmm. it's been on for 20 I'm years. I'm watching this season. And uh, it's the same conversations over and over and over mm-hmm. again for 20 years, mm-hmm. which a lot of people say, isn't that just what you do? Yeah. And I'm like, yes, begrudgingly, mm-hmm. because we got trapped. We I got trapped. It. Yeah. We got trapped. Uh-huh. Yeah. I would probably be happier managing a GameStop, <laughs> fucking being like, dude, 25% store discount? Yeah. And I'm, a fuck, I'm addicted to pills? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get that much better than that, pal. It's been it's for, been a little while for since a little. guy like me. <laughs> doesn't you doesn't get much better than that? Dude, I have every single Zelda title mm. at my house. Every single Zelda title in my efficiency apartment, mm-hmm. and I am so alone. Yeah, actually, it'd be terrible. The I would just be priced out of Austin. <laughs> I would have to be. I would be living in like the the Serengeti of Texas. Just commuting five and a half hours. To yeah, you'd be like in a place with a fucking, the, what are those balls? I would just be bitter. I would hate Joe Rogan. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, these guys. They ruined the scene. Yeah, we yeah. had the best comedians. Yeah, Austin was good before these L.A. guys came yeah, in and yeah, ruined yeah. our scene. Right. I'm living five hours away. Yeah. I'm in Oklahoma. <laughs> I just get a tornado come tries to come by, but I'm too fat at that point. They'd be sucked up. 
<laughs> it's like, do we even have an obesity crisis or do we have a tor tornado problem? Uh -huh. And on a subconscious level, the species knows the answer. I need to survive. Heavier. Mm -hmm. Let's go heavier than the... Because it is right there through that... They're making a new one, you know that. Twister? Twister. Yeah, really. Oh. And what, it's a black lady? Yes. Yeah, look out, y'all, here I come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, I'm, uh, my well, name's F5. <laughs> <laughs> Who, yeah. Who's pot? Let me get We got Monique as a tornado now. I believe it is Monique. Because yeah. woke, the cancel culture has to take they, tornadoes they, they away everything. from conservative America. They woke everything. That was their thing. Yeah. All we got here is NASCAR and tornadoes, and now you got to fucking they say, gave oh, tornadoes to black they're ladies. giving, they're saying the fat black ladies. What do we have left? We got nothing. We, had, we just have sexual assault. They, That's they the fucking, last thing they left to the men. Dude, this started the with, white men. <laughs> they killed Dale Earnhardt, and then they saw us weak. And they fucking have just spent the last mm -hmm. 20 years. But no more. The South will rise again. But guess what? They, they're confusing our, our weakness for kindness. Our Southern weakness. Yeah. And, and we're not kind. There's, yeah. We're bitches. We're actually fucking weak. <laughs> we're just is. weak, but we're also cunts. I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to put arsenic in the eggnog. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you now it's time for our volley in the war on... on a happy holidays. Enjoy mm -hmm. your holiday eggnog. What is that We're going to call it that. What? To kill Christians? No, to kill people that just want eggnog. We're going to have Happy Holidays eggnog. I never so had So it's no it. longer Christmas-style eggnog. Now it's for everybody. Uh -huh. But guess what? It's got poison in it. Uh -huh. So enjoy that. You want to buy the non-controversial eggnog? Yeah, yeah. Now it's You're time to die. You're going to die. Yeah. If you woke it. And that'll be the real rapture. Uh -huh. we're all... <laughs> We have Christmas eggnog, <laughs> and anybody that drinks that is fine. Yeah. And anybody that has chooses the Happy Holidays eggnog. You know, that's, what, that's what happened to Jews during the plague because it was passed around during from swine, mm -hmm. so people thought they were wizards. What? The plague in Europe was spreading through uh, swine. No, it's spread through rats. So how did Jews not get it? They did, well, there just wasn't that many Jews. Zero percent fatality rate. For Jewish people? Mm -hmm. I think I they know. also walked Didn't there. RFK say that about COVID? Wasn't he, what, what did he say at that dinner? He said something like that, that yeah. Jews, no Jews ever. Well, Jews invented COVID. <laughs> they invented COVID. Yeah. What's going on with that guy? I get, it's like, somebody thought it was funny to sign me up for fucking emails for every... I mean, I don't even. I mean, That's like funny. That is pretty funny. Whatever. Every I get every newsletter yeah, yeah. ever. I love the the around election time when they just sound like they're just like, please give me pussy. Like in the title, in the subject line of every every email, like they say, please give me pussy. It's it's that it is that uh, tone, like, please, please, like Donald Trump is about to to molest us. Mm -hmm. Please, 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 Adam. Please, this is Barack Obama. Please, please protect me. Mm -hmm. you know, that really didn't go anywhere. Yeah. No, the RFK ones are like, you know, these bastards want to fucking, they're trying to, they're doing everything they can to keep fucking RFK down. And it's like, does any, nobody, it's not that serious, dude. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about the fucking, that's the worst part about, like, does anybody actually care about who's president? As much as the people doing it? Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No. You know? And nerds. No, not even. They don't even care. Losers, dude. Podcasts ruined literally everything. Yeah, yeah. People don't have Because you, you can get paid to care about things. And uh -huh. it was like, Gen X had it figured out. Don't you shouldn't care about anything. Nirvana. All Pearl we needed, Gen X, if we had Gen X, but people were fucking maybe a little bit more, mm -hmm. that would have been a perfect society. And we were getting close. Yeah. You know? That's what the 90s was. Yeah. Woodstock 94. Yes. Woodstock 99. That rap rock. Rap rock. That's fu that is close. <laughs> That's close to close. what a perfect society would be. It was be. close. But there was a lot of sexual assault at 99. It was there, though? There was mud. Uh, yeah. Mud? I people remember got the, mud in the, the, It rained a lot. People nutted in the mud. People nutted in the mud. That was one of the. And that the was on the top boys, acts that year. Nutted the in the mud. Boys got mad about it. They Yo, we're rap rock group. Nutted in the mud. <laughs> nutted in the mud. Yeah, and then it's like, yeah, it's 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 a mixed race. <laughs> rap rock group. 
right. Yeah. Right. Our <laughs> song, The Clowns Have Come, the, Our Clowns at the Club. That's the number one song. Clowns at the Club, yeah. Don't you dare disrespect my tiny car. <laughs> I'll step out of it and we could go to war. It's the Tiny Clown Mafia. <laughs> That's pretty it's good. It's the Clown Rap Mafia. That's pretty good. It's crazy that of all of the subgenres of rap rock, the one that's had the most longevity is the clown branded one. That yeah. is ICP still going strong. Yeah. They still House have of Pain, nothing. Nothing. But clown rap rock. House of Pain had to pick up guitars. They became everlasting. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Uncle yeah. Cracker is literally just he that. He had to pick now. up a guitar. Now he's just literally yeah. some cracker uncle. Mm-hmm. And so it used, sad, to, it what used to be what they've done to him. It used to be he used to he used to rhyme. And mm-hmm. He used to spit. No, Kid Rock is Kid Rock is the, no Kid Rock picked up the guitar. Yeah, no, he they found out he can sing, and then he has to do that instead. Just let white men rap. Yeah, have you seen Modest Yahoo's back on the news because they're canceling his? The workers at venues are boycotting him. What do you do? He's pro-Israel. So like he's on his most recent Why? tour. He is. Yeah, he is. That's yeah. shocking. Why? It's not. I mean, he stinks. He stinks. <laughs> I told you I've said this story before, but my mom like, and it was like she was being so nice. Mm-hmm. She like came into my room. I was like doing homework or something. She's like, Adam, you like reggae? Like you? I know you like Bob. Did Marley. you even like reggae? I like Bob Marley. Oh, okay. When but I was like in middle school. Yeah, that's who okay. So she's like, you like that's reggae. because you're like you're like learning how to like do weed without doing it before you do. I it. remember fantasizing about when I'm gonna start doing right. weed. Right. Yeah. That's that, that's like age twelve. <laughs> Me and my cousin listened to Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah. And we were like, I can't wait to get. You remember high. when you see half? Did you see Half Baked before or after? Before. Yeah. Totally. Be, before. You see it before and you're like, dude. As soon as I get pubes. That looks like the As soon as I have one ever. pube, I want to make sure I don't fuck that up. If I start if I start weed now, I might never grow my penis. My yeah. well, it's gonna stay it small. It might be bad luck. Life, but, <laughs> <laughs> but at least I, I can't be bald. My mama had. Can't, I can't give people. You can't have a small dick and be shaving your pubes. Also, <laughs> be like, check this out, a baby. <laughs> what if it's? What if I'm a baby? Yep, yeah. got an extra half inch, baby. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, she, my mom, like, she had, like, the CD and, the, like, jewel kits, and she was like, Adam, you like reggae, right? And I was like, yeah, what, a, what, why? And she's like, well, there's a rabbi that does reggae. And Is I, he even a rabbi? He was, he was orthodox at the time. And she's like, you know. Does that mean you're so a I rabbi? You if you're orthodox, they're all rabbis? Kind of, yeah. If they're, if you're a chassid, they're all technically kind of rabbis, yeah. Because they're all. But uh, orthodox isn't Hasidic. They're orthodox Hasidic is part of it's boring. Hasidic is part of orthodoxy, but then they're modern orthodox people that like they also shave, but they wear yarmulkes. Yeah, it's they just wear the jacket. They wear the like the. It's kind of more Blues Brothers. It's style. J- road to perdition. Road to perdition. Yeah, style. Road to perdition style. Yeah, road, kind of very road to perdition. It's style. so the, the the regular Hasidics that's 1880s, and then the modern orthodox mm-hmm. is 1940s. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah.